Hi, my name is Myok Park. I'm an assistant professor um, of Korean linguistics and language in the Department of East Asian Languages and Literature at GW. I'm a linguist by training. Um, so I studied linguistics at Georgetown uh, with a special focus on Korean linguistics um, and Korean syntax, actually. Um, my, well, well, broadly, my research topics can be grouped into three. First is pure theoretical morphosyntactic topics. Second is more of an interface between syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. And lastly, um, topics that are more pragmatic oriented, so like sociolinguistic topics. Um, so my representative work uh, include work on clause typing, um, agreement, um, allocativity, um, addressy, uh, and politeness. So I know that some of these sound really like technical and you probably won't understand what I'm saying. Um, well, linguist does include a lot of technical terms, so I'll try to talk in plain terms as much as possible, uh, hoping that you know, people will understand what I'm saying. Uh, so some of these topics I've been um, working collaboratively with linguists at Yale University and also Georgetown um, as collaborative um, research is a common practice in the field of linguistics. To start off, um, I worked as a postdoctoral research fellow at Georgetown after getting a degree. Um, um, and the topic that we had to work on as a postdoctoral research fellow was clause typing. It was an uh, NSF grant that was um, granted to professors Rafael Zanardini and Paul Portner at Georgetown, and I was their, their student. So I got involved in this like, big project, which lasted for about three years. So this Clause typing topic um, actually was very interesting because we started thinking about imperatives, especially. Um, imperatives are like directives or more easily commands, like sit down or behave yourself. And these imperatives have a very unique properties, um, such as like, you know, the subject of imperatives would have to always have to be addressy, meaning like the hearer or listener. Right? And also, the imperative um, sentences cannot be easily embedded. So um, compared to other um, sentences, like declarative, you could say, um, John said to Mary that um, Paul went shopping. That's fine, but you cannot say, John ordered Paul go shopping, unless it's understood as a, as a you know, direct quotation. So there's these kind of like unique uh, properties and imperatives. So we started looking at imperatives um, for the goal of like finding um, these unique properties, special properties of imperatives, and um, you know, what contributes or attributes to identifying them as imperatives. Korean was a special interesting one because Korean has this particular particle at the end of sentence, like la particle, which marks that it's a command. So we started looking at Korean, um, English, Italian, Sanskrit, um, German, Bhojpuri, which is like a you know a, a, um, dialect of Hindi. So all these cross-linguistic investigations were very fascinating, and that's how we got I got into the topic of clause typing, and then that led to another topic such as like embeddability, and that led to the topic of addressee, and that led to the topic of like, you know, speaker addressee relation in syntax and, and so on like that. So it just sort of went on. Korean is very interesting because it's got this particular particles. And that's not the only interesting part about Korean language. It has all the other type of like, interesting, unique properties um, that is only, you know, visible in Korean language. So by studying Korean language, you're not only contributing to the uh, Korean linguistics field, but also to the broader linguistics in general. So, you know, this kind of topic is not only for Korean studies, but I think it's got a broader implication. And as a scholar, you have so much to contribute. So, you know, this is something I think that everybody um, who's interested in the Korean language would love to, to pursue.